Oh, welcome back. So we meet again. How are you all, my friends? It's been long time. I didn't see you all. Robert, let's get back to our business. What do we have today? Well, in today's video, we are going to learn how to make a dependent drop-down list using XLOOKUP function. I would have never imagined that it would be so easy to do it with XLOOKUP. So let us work out together and get it done with the help of the XLOOKUP function. That sounds really interesting. So this is our data set, my friend. And on the left hand side, we have the student names. And on the right hand side, we have the geo data, which has the country name and the relevant cities to that country. So the first thing we are going to give this headers a name range. We will call this as my country. By giving the name range, it will allow me to write the formula quickly and understand where the data is coming from. So let's call this my country. And the cities we will call this as my cities. The other way to give the name ranges is just by going to formula, define name, and it has automatically selected the first cell which we have selected, but we want my city. Now, when we go back to our name manager, we see there are two names, which is by my city and my country. Now let's go and select the column for country, go to data, under data tool, go to data validation, and we will select this as a list. And we are going to hit F3. So that will give me the names of the name ranges. So we will select here as my country and click OK. So now you can see all the country names are listed in this rows. So let us select the country India. Now we need to pull those city names. Earlier, if you were working on dependent drop down list, you need to prepare each and every column or the dependent name range. And then you need to pass it as an indirect function. Then that information pulls out. Now let me show you the magic with the XLOOKUP. Equals to XLOOKUP. The lookup value is country India, comma. Now where do I need to look up that value? My country. Yes. Comma. And the return value will be my city. That would be an exact match. So we don't need to worry about putting the false as a last argument and hit enter. Boom. So we have that city names for India. Now let us go and copy this formula. Control X, move it out from here. Just select this range, go to data and data validation. Just go select list and paste this formula. Hit OK. And what I'm about to show you is this is the list, New Delhi. Let's go see Saudi Arabia. Tamam, Khobar, Makkah. Let us select Bahrain. We have Manama. Now let us go and add some more data to our geo data. So we have our data been added over here. And now I will just simply go to my name manager. I will go to my city. And I will just edit this range to expand it with the new data. And here it is. Close. And now if we go to India, we can see that dependent cities are being added over here. Holy moly! What is this? I can't believe from my eyes. Robert, can you see that? This is done without any hassles of putting that multiple name ranges and then put an indirect formula. XLOOKUP have done the job for you. So that's how we do XLOOKUP with dependent drop down list. So that's all for today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Didn't you? If not, I know you love me. So make sure that you like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon for the latest updates. Till then, 
I will see you in the next video with my friend Rabat. Rabat, now get my horses ready. We have to try this new formula.